Check this out. Elon Musk is paying eleven billion dollars in tax this year. Oh my God. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's see who's gonna walk through that door today and do this episode with me. Hmm. Oh, hi Wayne. How's your shopping? Did you get everything you want on your huge shopping list? Hi, Miss Sarah. Can I come in here to just chillax today? Sure. Come on in. What's up? You don't look happy today. Bad mood. <sighs> so I've been shopping a lot lately. Just last week, I booked a two-week holiday to take my parents to Dubai for Chinese New Year. They don't fancy the cold during New Year, so I thought Dubai would be a good option. Ooh, yeah, Dubai! I love Dubai. That place is gorgeous, and that famous hotel Burj Al Arab. One must go visit. I mean, the architectural design of the entire building is just phenomenal. And the adjacent private beach. Oh my, that soft sandy beach, the palm trees, and even though it's over forty degrees, it's not really burning hot like in Hong Kong. Ah, it's just wonderful there. Hmm. Oops. Sorry for getting a bit dreamy there. So you've booked that holiday. Sounds great. What's the matter? Yes, I did book it. Well, how come you don't seem very happy about it? I don't understand. Cause, cause it's cost me two hundred eighty-three thousand three hundred and forty-two and fifty cents AED, roughly about Hong Kong dollars. Six hundred and one thousand six hundred and seventy-six and eight cents. That is a lot of money, Wayne. But that's okay. You can afford it, right? You've won that huge Mark Six Chinese New Year snowball jackpot. I know it's great, but after all this spending spree in the last month, I kind of want to save my money for my university fund. Last week is the deadline for submitting our Jupiter choices. And it just hit me that I should have saved a part of money for when I go to university. If touch wood, I can't get into university in Hong Kong, I could still have enough money to go abroad. That is a good and responsible plan, Wayne. Then why did you book a holiday then? Well, I've always wanted to take my parents on a holiday. They've been working so hard for me all these years. And now I have won all this money. The first thing I want to do is to give them a surprise and a treat. Oh, I've always known you're a sweet girl. So that's okay then. You've booked it now, right? What's the problem? But I also want to save for my university fund. Ay, Wayne, you can't have your cake and eat it. You know that. What do you mean, Miss Sarah? How can you tell I had cake today? Oh、my God, am I getting fat? Do you think I should stop eating cake? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't go bananas on me just yet. I didn't mean that. Then why did you tell me to stop eating cake? Chill out. I said you can't have your cake and eat it. It's a figurative speech in English. Literally means you cannot simultaneously retain your cake and eat it. Once the cake is eaten, it is gone. It is similar to the phrases "you can't have it both ways." Or you can have the best of both worlds. Oh, so you mean I can't spend my money on the holiday and save it at the same time for my university fund? That is exactly what I meant. This proverb is at least over 470 years old. Let's hear some more examples. Number one, working at the university library lets me have my cake and eat it too. I can study and read to my heart's content and make money at the same time. Number two, many students want to get good grades without studying, so I've had to explain that they can have their cake and eat it too. They have to put in the hard work if they want to improve their grades. The second example is good. I remember you lectured us before when we didn't hand in our homework. We really can't expect to improve our English without putting in the time and effort to use it. We can't have it both ways. We can't have our cake and eat it. That's right, Wayne. And you can't have your wonderful holiday with your parents without spending a lot of money on it. Especially you are taking them to the magical Dubai. I suppose you're right. I'm being too selfish. No, you're not. I'm pretty sure I'll think like you when I'm in your shoes. Anyway, all this conversation about cake has gotten me all ravenous. 
Fancy grabbing afternoon tea with me? There's a new cafe across the world. I think it's called Lumiere. I saw their cakes look really delicious, and they have the chestnut one that you like. Let's go and get some after this episode. It's on me. Thanks. I would love to. But are you sure you don't want to save your money? Oh, Miss Sarah, I know I can't have my cake and eat it too. I'll just get you the cheapest one. For me. Just kidding. Now let's go. Until the next time. Bye. Bye.